Hello folks, a warm welcome to you. And uh, This is the last edition of the program for the week and for the month. I'm Citizen Jones and today on the program, APC disowns suit seeking third term for the president. The president resents external borrowing plan of $30 billion rejected under Saraki and Dogara to National Assembly. And later on, we'll tell you that NAFDAQ has raised the alarm over expired rights in my country. Mm. I'm hanging out with Wale Adewe. Wale, I haven't seen you in a long while, yeah. so welcome. Thank yeah, you. You must have been busy making money. Good, been good. Traveling. Ah, good, 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 good for you. <laughs> and there's a Cyril Abaku. Cyril, I, I welcome you. Seriously, thank you. Uh, it appears Baba Jide is uh, an MIA this evening, missing in action. So, the team is ready. I hope you are. Well, let's go. You know, political jobbery, that is a scheme which aims to gain, not by legitimate or honest means, wealth or favor from government by extorting a people under the guise of some pretended political undertaking. undertaking. Now, the All Progressives Congress, APC, has distanced itself from a suit seeking an amendment of the 1999 Constitution as amended to allow President Muhammadu Buhari to run for a third term in office. The party's National Publici Publicity Secretary, Isa Lanre Isa Onilu, I hope I got that right, in a statement said, the self-proclaimed APC member, a certain Charles Enya, who at best is a busybody, risks a court action. He might be sponsored by a desperate opposition, the APC says. Charles, I mean, sorry, sorry. Cyril, we are here again. <laughs> yes. We are here again. Political yeah. jobbery. I've been on. Of course, we are. I am personally excited, or I am happy that the party has come to issue a categorical statement to say, on this question, on mm. this issue, here is where we stand. Yeah. I personally do not, um, did not expect that if the so-called Mr. Enya had gone to court, claiming to be a member of the party from Ebony State, <laughs> I think, if he had gone to court, that in reality, a Nigerian court, a court of competent jur jurisdiction, would have awarded his prayers or would have answered his prayers. Because if the constitution made the, made, made categorical um, provisions as to the tenure of, Mr. of of a president of a, of a sitting president, or any, or any other matter, um, any, any other case for that matter, mm. the court cannot now commence judicial legislation. Mm. That in itself would have been ultra virus. You remember that in nineteen in two thousand and seven, right, six seven, when they thought the agenda thing for president of Basanjo came, we saw the route he took. There was a bill before the national assembly. It was put to a vote. If that such, was deliberate, of course, because there was there was there was a clear intention to, if such a measure had been taken, then we should uh, have and had the, num the, the number one didn't uh, dismiss it. Oh, no, in fact, I remember I, I was in university then. It was Obasan job, I think, was in Sweden, some month before. He was in Sweden. And he said, out of the blues, he said, some Nigerians we are clamoring that he should that, that he should stay back in <laughs> office after. <laughs> and said, oh, we were surprised and said, oh yeah, where, where, where is this coming where, from? Where, 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 where was it coming from? <laughs> But later on, under the guise of amending the constitution and reshaping and restructuring the country and so on, this whole thing started, you know, it came. I remember that the late barrister Bami De La Tour, I think, was even thrown okay. out of one of the public hearings. It was on live TV. The question was that in the end, a lofty ideal, a lofty uh, move to amend the issues with the constitution yeah. now wound up being centered around the question of whether the president should get a third term or, or not. not. And a lot of national drama went into that. But as at now, I think even the president said it some weeks ago, yeah. that look, his age wasn't an advantage for him anymore. And that since the law of the land had categorically said, this, this was the, um, mm. the, the limit of which you could go first and second terms, that he was willing to abide by the law. So I th the only area I have issues with is, he shouldn't take the party, even up to a month, to so, ascertain okay. as to whether this 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 person is a member of our party or not, there should be records. There should the, the party chairman in that state. There's a party. There's a council chairman. In, there's a party chairman in the local government council. There's a party chairman in, in the ward in the units. So, uh, ascertaining where this person comes from shouldn't be too f yeah. um, um, uh, lo long in coming. Yeah, but I yeah. think that for starters, we have a point to begin to enter the debate from. 
as to say that look, the party has categorically said that as an entity in itself, it is it is it is it is averse to such a move. Because we cannot deny the implications. Oh yeah. The cataclysmic oh, yeah. implications that, that that such a, a, a quest for ten elongation could have on our polity. I think it's 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 the first step in the right direction. All right. Well, so how, how do you come in when you consider that the APC is saying this guy might be sponsored by a desperate opposition? Well, I, I think we have to look at this issue from a very broad perspective. Uh, in the first place, he has a right. Anybody has a right to go to court to make one demand or the other. But there are occasions that you make demands that are ridiculous, mm. that uh, demands that were set up to subvert the fundamentals of the Constitution. Mm. Because the law of the land is clear that the tenure of a president is... An elected president. An elected president is eight years. But when you look at the history of Nigeria, what he's doing, what Mr. Shasenya is doing is not new. We saw that during the time of Abangida. We saw that during the time of Abasha. In fact, it was these elements that can, pushed... Can, I, 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 can anybody here forget? Yeah. Yeah. After, Youth endlessly uh, asked for. Yes, <laughs> and even before then, there was uh, a session for better Nigeria. Oh, the, come the on. The you know, infamous that, that, <laughs> that, you know, called for the annulment of June 12th election. Yeah. Yes. Then uh, when President Obasanjo came, you know, the same, you know, shadow buzzing. You know, they will Ma come and say, look, yeah, you should extend yeah, the time and yeah. all that. So I think um, there is no moral ground, you know, to make this kind of demand. Also, there is no constitutional basis. And also, there is no striking economic factor that we can say, okay, the president has achieved something striking. I'm not saying he has not achieved anything. To the extent that we can now push for tenor eleg elongation. Yeah. Well, well, sorry, sorry so, so I don't forget it. You know, we can rub this in somewhere. Yeah. Um, there was this hue and cry about uh, Jagaban, Ashuaju, yeah. Bolatimbu, yeah. 2023, and all that. It's yeah. part of this political jobbery we are talking yeah. about. Yes. So, so there, it's in our nature, right? Yeah. I think there are people that see tenor elongation uh, promoting side talks as an investment mm. that should yield profit. It's a means of livelihood for them. Hmm. But if you look at the, the, we what, should not what take, it means. We should not take Mr. Shah's and Yas one person. I think it's representing hmm. an interest. Hmm. Okay. If you look at what appears to be a strategic plot, they didn't go to, to a high court in Kano or Kaduna or Southwest here. They decided to go to the stronghold of the opposition, the East, to make that kind of demand. So to give the semblance, you know, that look, uh, even those that are not in our party, uh -huh. and the one making yeah. that kind yeah. of deal. So it's, it's a signal that, look, there is more to what we are seeing. Well, the difference Co considering, between... Oh, sorry, considering yeah. also that the, there's this calculation, yeah. uh, the Southeast should get, have a go at yes. it, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And, uh -huh, then asking and, that And they, then going to, you know, a boy state to, you know, to, to go to mm -hmm. the High Court and all that. The, the other factor is that, you know, we have three years ahead. So if you begin this kind of campaign, it's going to be a lot of distraction. It's going to blackmail the regime. It's also going to, you know, undermine the capacity, the capacity of the regime to focus on its goals of economic and cultural renaissance of the country. Yeah. One thing we should not lose sight of the fact is that this man may be actually representing the interests of the opposition. Maybe it's a mole planted to diminish the regime of the, I mean, the reputation of the APC. As a, a member of the APC, he could, anybody can, can fund this kind of process. He has okay. said he's a member of APC, but I don't mm. think the APC has been able to establish that. But you don't forget that most also are in both parties, planted okay. by you know, self-serving uh, yeah. individuals. Yeah. So we need to know what this guy stands for. But beyond that, I know even within the APC, there may be some people that want tenor elongation, not for public interest, mm. Mm. but for their own you know, parochial Fe interest. Further so their nests, yeah. the more. Yeah. So yeah. it's not a new thing. Uh, um, uh, Cyril, you know, there are no desperate situations. There are only desperate people. In this case, desperate politicians. No, of course they are. They are. You know, the like, uh, he, he rightly pointed it out. I remember that in two thousand and six or seven, a major fr Nigerian daily, national daily, mm. had what they call a wrap round. Wrap mm. round is you know mm. that they, yes yeah. yes mm. had a wrap round, and we saw the face of corporate Nigeria. Mm. Talk of the people that came to rescue the economy as the as technocrats. As, as the experts, as those who had the know-how to fix the economy. Mm. 
there was there was this uh, you know when the newspaper i remember that a particular editor of another newspaper national newspaper had to write an entire column saying that look going this path if if that if you are to sustain an attack on 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 a fellow media house it, it, it that it could amount to dog eat dog but that enough said what does what, what the newspaper had done by put, placing commercial interest over mm. Political morality mm. was reprehensible. It was after I think it was shortly after that publication that uh, the G seven or G eight summit refused to invite President Obasanjo anymore to their to their to their yeah. gatherings because after when he came to power in 1999-2000, what happened was that they were inviting Tabu Mbeki and Obasanjo okay. as the okay. bastions of, of you know of, of African democracy and renaissance and say okay, and then they were using that, that those platforms to seek for for investment and you know and um, regional cooperation. But from the time they thought the agenda got on the front burner, they shunned, Mr. Bas they, they shunned Chief of Basanjo, and it was very clear. What are we talking about? Sometimes it is, it is you know, the Bible says that if a leader keeps making bad decisions, his advisors, his, his, his advisors are to blame. Sometimes it is usually that people work in cahoots. They constitute a block of interest. And now sell... So, so the Bible... Uh, underscores things like it this. It foresaw this thing many years ago. Oh, are you, are you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, okay. what they do, you see, is that when, when they target, what they even said in, about the passenger job that in that year was that the economy was now on a strong footing and that you only needed what they called extra time. Please mm. remember that they needed oh, yeah. extra time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You remember they, that? They the, can't bust us. Yes. Yeah. That, they, that you needed extra time to, to, to win the game. Okay. But that is how it begins. And the issue, so the issue is that it is not only it is not only the party that should condemn the action. Yeah. I think that, you know, other frontline members of that of the administration, including Mr. President, should perhaps should address the issue once again to yeah. put bed to any further speculation. The reality is this. There is a certain amount of public opinion mileage that some people are even could even gain by keeping this debate in public space mm -hmm. for some time. Mm. Assuming that on this, because the, because the reality is that when a case is in court and you're seeking opinion, yeah, yeah, ju 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 judicial opinion, political mo mobilizers have their own strategy, mm. mobilize public opinion. And if you have two million youths for a bacha, <laughs> for an abacha, you have two million youths for an abacha, <laughs> you can, you can, you can, you can, sh somebody can shut down Lagos and Enugu yeah. in one day. Oh, yeah. And can run a badon and tell us that, look, this man is the best that has happened that has happened, that has happened to Nigeria since independence. Since, since wrapped bread. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is as, as so you see, yeah. we must be careful of the tinder that has the capacity That's it. To, 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 to become a major conflagration. Mm. It is not enough that the party has condemned it. All right. The presidency should revisit the matter and put paid, uh, the Senate president should speak and say, any attempt to bring a bill before us will be quashed. Okay. So that from all well, angles, it is it is it is completely killed. And well, let's quickly bury it. Yeah. Um, when will they leave us alone, mm. politicians? I, I think they will never. Uh, so, sorry, so, okay. sorry. Yeah. We have a diary. Diary is reaching us from Kaduna. Uh, are you there? Good evening. Yes, I'm here. Good yeah. Let, let's go quickly. Yes, to be a guest in the studio. You see. There is no smoke without a fire. <laughs> whatever it is, uh, we are all witnesses to yeah. the Senate president that says that whatever comes from the presidency will be, will be, will be approved. Please, whoever is coming out with this should please allow us to rest. We saw a first case <laughs> where it didn't fly during Obasanjo. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it will fly now. Yeah, there is no yeah. superhuman anywhere. Other people should mm. be given the opportunity. Mm. To rule this country. Darry, oh, thank you very kindly. I, well, in burying it, yeah. you know, the BB man would say, Foul, hmm. they lay egg, we follow in body. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Foul, no, they lay egg, we big pass in hmm. body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think there is a difference between President Obasanjo and the current president. To me, you know, uh, President Obasanjo had a kind of uh, promiscuous political culture. You can't really <laughs> trust his words. Yeah, you Unlike the current it. president, who said that he's not interested in you know, going for third term. At that time, he will be 79 years. I think to a large extent, we can trust his words and then make sure that he sticks to that. Okay, as is to provoke the debate, we do it from this uh, hangout. So um, let it be with Caesar, as they say. You know, um, 
Let's go to our next subject matter. For the present administration, external borrowing is still on the cards. The 8th National Assembly had vacillated over a borrowing plan for the 2016-2018 financial season, but President Mohamedou Buhari has resent, if you like, represented the borrowing plan approved in August 2016 to the National Assembly. The scheme involves a $30 billion foreign loan to fund the infrastructure. Senate President Ahmed Lawan, who read Mr. President's fresh letter, didn't give any details of the executive communication. I'm reminded in this connection that the shoulders of a borrower are a little straighter than those of a beggar. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, should, the shoulders of a borrower are more straight than those of a beggar. Because, ostensibly, he is put under that stream. He is put under that stream. Uh, in 2016, I think that communication went to the, to the National Assembly mm. in September, right? Mm. After two months of deliberation. That's it. The, the, it was rejected. My intervention will begin with a plea. A plea to the extent that the unity, if that is what to use, mm. the unity, you know, we're not in... We're not in a cabinet system, parliamentary system where the party can present its program and if that majority, you know, it, 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 it flies. U unity or you rapport? Have, uh, uh, okay. Citizen, you know, you can call it all kinds of names, but uh -huh. you know what I'm saying. Okay. There's, okay. there's, 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 there's the a synergy. synergy. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, think, I, okay. Think, I think that's what synergy. Yeah. But we shouldn't mortgage the future of our children and of our country. I think that the Senate could be accommodative, could be more open to the presidency now, but it still doesn't take away their constitutional responsibility to, to, you know, to, to safeguard and check every now and then, here and there, what could amount to excesses. Because in the, in the, in the event that something untoward happens, the consequence is on everybody. Our debt burden, both internally and externally, is, is, is already extremely excruciating. We, we, we all know that. And we realize that there is a there is there is there is a challenge. There is a very typically Nigerian challenge mm. with executing, uh, with using the resources judiciously. Yeah. And so this sort of long-term borrowing plan comes with its own challenges. Borrowing is good in economics as in accounting. You will be told borrowing is is it, it has. In fact, borrowing is, is to an, there's a sense in which it is a risk, it, it, you know, like, it's even a risk, a shield against risk. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yes, it. yes. But you see... But you, but you must be credible. Uh, if, you, if, uh, if, if, if... Don't if they add that as no, a no, no, caveat? No. If, if your credibility is sellable okay. to, your, to your creditors, okay. how about internal issues? That is where, for me, the ball often drops. Because the fact is that when we go to borrow and the albatross is, is, is on our neck, mm. we've been borrowing over the... We, our, our internal debt burden is high, both states and federal government, even our external too, is, is, is also very high. We should borrow with conscience. Now, the fact is that when, even when money is made available, what the president said, some, when he was campaigning four years ago, not this past election, four years ago, okay. he said he, he made very strong statements about backward integration. If after four years the economy has not has has not grown has not developed self solvency, look at what could turn things around. The Jakarta Steel Project, for instance, yeah. Jones. Yeah. It took us. There's a lot of discussion about reviving uh, of um, uh, uh, of um, of steel production. The other day, the Minister of State for Mines and Steel was even in uh, Enugu. Yeah. You know, they were trying to revive coal and so on. The question is. And why? I think the ASCON in Ikorabasi too. So but why mm. did it take Russia mm. to invite us to the Russia Africa summit for this whole discussion to be on the table now? Mm. These are the issues. If you don't think for yourself, the fact is that the creditor is always eager to give you and, and you know and, 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 and make you indebted. So but why are we not thinking about alternative creative means of sustaining ourselves? We are not doing I think that is where the problem really lies. Well it alternative or creative means of saving us this this embarrassment of always going to borrow we are not a producing nation while yes 
fixed electricity, it's been said mm. a number of times, and you have almost fixed everything in the country. Yeah. You, you hear folks talk about the monies recovered from looters and all that. Mm. Why don't you commit that? Yeah. And, yeah. and so on. I, do, I don't know mm. the, the, the way economists... Uh, well, I think in the first place, um, it's, it's not really a bad thing for any country to borrow money. In fact, when you look at the most industrialized nations, you know, of the world today, many of them are indebted. In fact, the U.S. is going about... When, when, when you are told the U.S. Yeah, is heavier... $22 trillion, dollars, <laughs> you know. Uh, China Oof. is about $2 trillion, dollars, you know. Uh, Korea, Brazil, our contemporaries, over $300 billion, dollars, you know, in external debt. But there, are, there is a difference. When you look at the GDP of these countries, you know, you will, you will bow. Oh, yeah. And then when you look yeah. at the external... Reserve, reserve, you know, the external reserve for China, for instance, is about thirteen point five trillion dollars, whereas that of Nigeria is 40, 40 billion. Then, when you look at the commitment to, you know, uh, addressing the essential needs of the people, look at Korea. Even North Korea, that people say is very poor, life expectancy in in, in North Korea is seventy one years. In Nigeria, it's just fifty four years. It means that an average Nigerian, once you are over fifty four. You are on your own. You are almost living on. Uh, we, are, we are okay here. So, <laughs> we, we, we are okay. But go on, go on. <laughs> so, that, that is, uh, then the problem of corruption. Brazil, the former president just came out of, uh, prison. Yeah. of prison. Yeah. Korea. Over you know, corruption. Yeah, same over thing. corruption. So, you could see some level of commitment. You know, that look, these guys are commit, they are genuinely committed to fighting corruption and blocking waste. Our problem so you want is, to see uh, some powerful people behind bars? Yeah, our, our problem is that here we borrow, borrow, and borrow, and borrow all the time. Eventually, you don't see how that loan transforms mm. into the life of the ordinary Nigerian. The, we have been borrowing since 1970s, you know. You talk about road, talk about um, infrastructure. At the time, Volkswagen will be talking about employing 2,000 people. Pojo in... Kaduna, thousands of people. Lay land at the bottom. Those oh things boy. are gone. Oh boy. So and, and we for are, good? We are, yeah, you know, they, they are gone. No, no, for good? Well, well. It's, it's quite unfortunate that today, even though we keep on borrowing, there is really nothing to show for it. So that's our fear. That this money, that they have a very good plan. They are talking about mining, agriculture, educational sector to invest these funds. Yeah. But then, should the federal government bother you know, itself? Burdening itself with all these responsibilities. Shouldn't this thing be the responsibility of the state? And then it boils down to the question of yeah, the kind of federalism if, 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 that we are yeah, running. If you are suggesting that, yeah. it means you must take us to the Constitution. Yes. The Constitution so, constrains us. Yes. Yes. In, including so, the present. Uh, so that, that's why it will make it very difficult for us to see the impact of these funds mm. that are going to borrow. So our concern is that would there be a judicious you know, use? of these funds, based on precedents, yeah. there, are, there are a lot of that. Siri, are we saying, um, is, is it a diffidence on our part to assume that we can't have the chance, the chance for a new beginning? <laughs> a new beginning. It reminds me of the, of the pamphlet here, Tom, Tom Paine, Thomas Paine. Oh, okay. He, you the, know, the age of reason. Of course, he said, yeah. we hold it in our power to begin the world over again. He told America, and, and that's what America did after the independence from... Britain. It didn't come easy. It won't come easy for us either. Mm. But do we even realize? You know, it's one thing for you to have potential, but it's another thing for you to realize, have that self-awareness, to know who you are, and to understand that you can uh, actually uh, 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 make... Uh, but Einstein put it more beautifully. He said, talent will take you from here to this camera, mm -hmm. but creativity will take you everywhere. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. and, and, and I think that has been the missing link. Those, that, that statement that the problem with Nigeria is the failure of leadership continues to resonate and nobody's paying attention. Citizen, I think that if the government genuinely believes that a country is wealthy when there's a, 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 enough money in its coffers mm. to carry out projects, mm. to fund projects, to distribute... Or, or, or maybe, maybe we should say if it's national currency... It's strong. Of course. Mm. See, this pseudo-socialist persuasion, that is the problem. Let me give an example. We talk about steel. Steel is not a natural resource. Mm. In the United States of America, yeah. when capitalism began to, uh, um, be began, be began to boom, 
it was a man called Andrew Carnegie. Okay. He had, okay. you know, he yes, he, he had made wealth, and then he was falling. He was falling. He, he was he, he was falling. For, uh, he was falling from the from from the from the higher echelons, mm -hmm. and so something happened. I won't go into that long story. Okay. He gave money to a scientist and told him to do something. After some some time of research, the man produced steel. It is two things you you I think carbon and something. He he, he produced steel. So Carnegie said, okay, I'm going to create a, a bridge with steel. It had not happened before. Mm. He did it. People wouldn't since people wouldn't work on 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 on, on a bridge made, yeah, yeah. made 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 with steel. Yeah. He took an elephant. The elephants only work on level ground. Uh, the elephant passed on the bridge. The people, the villagers believed and said this is something. So we can, so that was how skyscrapers came to be. Okay. What I'm telling you is that they're in the American economy. There are American companies that have budgets bigger than five, five American I, 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 companies. I'm sorry, we we mm. we're keeping Rotimi here in Lagos waiting. Uh, Rotimi, thank you for your time. Welcome. Good evening, Dr. Anthony Jones. This is your cap. Make, make a adjust them. <laughs> it's a 2020 cap. Have you? One, thank you. One, All right. Good, good evening. Good evening. And, yeah. um, good Mr. Evening. Marco, uh, first on the external borrowing, the problem we've had is that the, the past leaders that we've been having, like this after uh, John uh, Gowon, who built the skyscrapers in Nigeria, have been looted. Look at other roads. Look at Badagri. I found the Badagri <laughs> way back in '85. Uh -huh. Badagri is, is, is a no-go area today. Mm. It's, an, it's an international road that links to Togo that ought to be lit 24 hours a day. Yeah. Look at look at other Kota Lagos. Uh, on that go on, the the Goan government also dreamt up a trans-African highway mm. that no, links Lagos to. I, 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 mm. and now, St. John. Look, look, look. Our former petroleum minister is, a, is today on service time because he doesn't want to be arrested here in Nigeria. Look at all the looting that we've been having. But I can assure you, I'm a journalist anyway, this man, this new man, when he came as a military uh, uh, president, he built the refineries. When he came back during the Bacha era, PTBS, all our roads were paved. Mm. Look, and today, about, uh, this man, Called Buhari can be trusted. He's, 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 he, he says that but his integrity speaks for them. I mean, he, he, he can be trusted. And Mr. Mr. Jones, if you move around Lagos today, go to Agege, you will see railway tracks yeah. being laid and yeah. Yeah. If I don't, it will be laid. And Mr. Jones, the chaos that we are experiencing in Nigeria, in mm. Lagos, is because now this, this, uh, President Buhari wants to do this uh, uh, okay. rail line to connect Lagos with and so on. So. Essentially, what Ruti mean? Sorry, sorry, mm. sorry. The mm. line just there. Uh, mm. What he's saying, gentlemen, is it is possible. Yeah, we can yeah. do. It is possible. Better. We can do much better than this. In fact, in fact, look, that era of government have it all and do it all is over. Somebody advised and said that even you know the formation of the national executive, uh, the national economic advisory council. The yeah. Somebody said, look, where the world is going, you, you can't even use that alone anymore. You need a council on innovation and research. These, are, these don't have to be commissions. Mm. Think tanks that continue to, you know, feel, because the fact is this. That go outside the box. That think, how many companies have folded up in the past four, five, six years? Mm. Why? why? Why are they folding up? Power. When they, f good. So why it, can we focus, I think the license that they gave to the TCNs and the, and the business Expired. companies yeah. expired, was it this year or was it expired yeah, this year or so? Yes, so yes. what are we going to do differently from what we did before now? Mm. You gave them licenses, you build them out. So there's a problem. There is a, even the, even the, the as this generation also, the federal government kept it, 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 is, it was doing it in collaboration with the company from Canada. We have the capacity to lead ourselves. Oh yeah. Nobody should, nobody should say, we, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't have it. If we're unable to do it, it simply shows that we are not putting the round pegs in the round holes. All right, then. Uh, there's a round peg now. We'll go into the round hole. We'll take a break. We must return. Please stay. I'm mighty glad you are part of the debate, uh, which we provoke from here every weekday. You know, we're talking about borrowing. Mr. President, as resent uh, the bill which he uh, passed to the Eighth Assembly, we need $30 billion in loan.
to pursue some critical infrastructure. And we are saying it is possible. Yeah. Uh, Cyril was uh, belling it. It is possible. But it needs creative thinking. Mm. Wale, what, what the, the engine room is power. Provide yes. power. Yes. Yes. Um, the, we must realize that, realize our capacity. It's not likely that we'll be in a position to stop the federal government from obtaining this you know, loan, given um, the determination and also the fact that members of the National Assembly are mainly, you know, majority of them are APC. So what we can do is to at least ensure there is judicious use of these funds. I'm happy that they have power, you know, it's included. If they can focus on power and resolve that kind of, you know, uh, problem, I mm. think it's going to take us to a, a, a long way. Remember well, that well, I say a big, I year, a, a big yes to that because, yeah. you, of course, you've seen it. The Mambilla Plateau mm. hydro elect, elect, ele, electricity project is yeah. included. I am told the whole of the north does not need up to 3,000 megawatts. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm told. Mm. So if you get that and working... Lagos alone needs more than that. Maybe, Lagos may, may, alone. May, may, maybe and maybe not. So, but so, I'm saying so, power, power, mm. yeah. If they can resolve sorry. the problem of, I, 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 we must admit that there's determination in certain areas, especially the railways. Yeah. Look at the Lagos, you know, that we have been on it since 1999. So if they can put that kind of determination into provision of power, I think it's going to go a long way. Which is saying solve those whose business it is to yeah. flood this country with generators mm. yeah. must, mm. must be stopped. Job automatically will be created by Nigerians. Mm. You know, with little effort from government, mm. if there is provision. Siri may not like this, but no, no, let, let me no, drop it. When jobs, when the machines start humming again, yeah. many churches will give way. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, no. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> the document has that, that's, not, that, that's not a, a spanner okay, in the fine, works here. Fine. So, but the, this is it. You know, I'm thinking. The I I don't speak Chinese anyway. But the Chinese told themselves something in 1949, after the Communist Party came to power. Yeah. They said, we, we need power to power our development. What they do, you know, the Chinese Communist Party, the whole mm. leadership is made up of engineers. Mm. That, you know, they cap, the massive capital uh, works, works, you see them carrying carry, uh, out, are not done. It, it, it's not a coincidence. It's a deliberate, even Xi Jinping, I think he's a civil engineer also. Okay. Now, this is what the, the point I'm coming to. 30,000 megawatts, if they're not alone, needs that. Or maybe, that, or maybe it may not be up to 3,000 watts. Uh, no, no. What, what, give what them, will... Just give them 3,000. If we if we are thinking of bringing back the granite pyramids, yeah. bringing back cotton, bringing back rubber, bringing back granites and so on, citizen, on an industrial scale, hmm. on a massive... Can, can you imagine? On a massive industrial scale, and not forgetting the fact that the Nigerian economy naturally has the capacity mm. to cause our neighbors to gravitate to her. It is not, it is not and a... Also consider the market is here. See this, the market is here. Mm. The purchasing power is here. The capacity not only to produce, but also to innovate mm. is also with us. But it is one thing, we have been having development plans since under Gowon Muritala, yeah. up to Shagari, up to... The funny thing is that every government comes up, uh, yeah. Mr. Walisa, and and picks a hole in what the other government has done mm. and, ref and, 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 and refines its own, you'll be amazed that even if some ministers came out of this body government to become one person became president, another person became vice president, they, are, they will still pick holes. Mm. In, in Anambra State, the other, they, they, they designed a 50-year strategic plan. You know, and, and I think... Be beginning from this year. Yes. Me and the counter. Pro <laughs> Professor Charles Sol 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 Soludo was there. He said, look, yeah. that this is a, a non-partisan document. Any government that comes in should key into it and continue. In Lagos State, too, I think there was a 35-year plan also, or 25-year plan, that um, Bola Tunibu also, you know. So we have been having plans and documents. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But our plea will be that if, this, if, if, the, if, the, if the proposal is approved, since the light of day, we must show a commitment yeah. that yeah. was not there before. Okay. We must show a willingness. If in 1975, when the Enugu coals were closing now, we had 520 something thousand tons. With modern technology, we should be able to do far more than that. Yeah. And yeah. then you realize that cities like Port Harcourt were opened up because of the coal that was in Enugu. The power of industrial revolution or industrial development 
is something that you can't even begin to imagine when it begins. But we just hope that if this thing is the light of day, it is put to the most judicial use that we have yeah. ever seen before. O okay, the last call for this on this subject matter is coming from Gombe State, and Muka is waiting. Good evening, sir. Ruka. Yeah. Good evening, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Good evening, Ruka Citizen. I greet you, sir. Yeah, I really commit the wonderful work you guys are doing there, but it's like uh, Baba Jude is missing in action. <laughs> yeah, we, we send them out somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, brother. Yeah, uh, let me let me let me just come in. Uh, the issue of borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. There is nothing bad in uh, borrowing. Yeah, we we're, we're on. Is that the line? Nothing bad in borrowing. I, I yeah. thought we had said so. Yes, and yes. not just mm -hmm. because Nigeria is cre is a, a, a credible yeah. debtor yeah. in a manner of speaking, but because. If we have the will mm. to channel these monies mm. to something very concrete, we'll be home and dry. Yeah. All right, so that will just about do it for this subject matter. We must move on. You know, Christmas is in the air. I can feel it. In fact, there are some 27 or so days to go, and rice merchants are over, over themselves concerning the staple. The National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, is raising the alarm over the degenerate acts of cutthroat rice merchants who repackage local rice as foreign variety in addition to caked and expired rice targeted at unwitting or unsuspecting consumers. These unwholesome rice types, NAVDAC warns, contains microorganisms that are very harmful to health. In Nigeria, desperate times as these mean you, free, you are free to act as desperate, desperately as you as you wish. Right? Wrong? Let the law catch up with you first. Then we will know whether it's right or wrong. <laughs> and, okay. I, and, and, I, and I sincerely pray that the, the law catches up with people who engage in unscrupulous behavior, unscrupulous commercial activities, mm -hmm. just to make uh, gain. When you throw morality in the wind and you jeopardize the health of your fellow citizens, mm -hmm. That's you know, it. yes, it's, no it's, a danger. it's a danger. But having said that, I come back to my solemn plea. You know, the borders are short. We're producing rice locally, which is good. But as I've said, the communication component, the communication component, uh, uh, component of this campaign has been largely missing. Now, I wish, I don't know when this statement was made, but I wish that by now, Thursday. Oh, Thursday, fine, but, but yeah. so, so like yeah, I wish that by now, yeah. maybe there are, there are bits bit-sized video clips showing you how to identify. Mm. Okay. okay. Yes. That, yes. That's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one. Number that's two. To, to take the message home. Yes, yes. Then number two, sometimes you would ask, where can I get local rice? Where can I get local rice? Don't expect me to travel from Ikorodu to Badagri or from Badagri to Ekpe that I want to go and buy rice. The availability or advertisement of where to get local rice is missing, largely missing. I've spoken to people. I thought it was, I've spoken to people. So I think what we need to do, all of what I've said won't excuse your stomach, God forbid, mm. if you fell oh, victim yeah. to these people. So the reality is oh, that. Hunger, not the hair prayer. Uh, see you. So any way you find yourself, <laughs> make sure that, you know, you go to trusted yeah. where you can. Outlets, because yeah. the fact is that if you didn't eat rice any other time in, in the year, when Christmas comes, it, you know, you can't you can't afford to stay away from rice. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of rice. I don't eat much rice, but I know that oh, in good Nigeria, for you. no, good no, for no, you. no, no. <laughs> when Christmas has come, it's like that is when rice and chicken mm. go pari Yeah. So what do we do now? That be, be beyond the warning. I think in collaboration with other agencies of government, let us see how government can help to bring the both the message home to us and the 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 right what what we should also buy home yeah. to us. I think that will help. The other time when Lagos and Kebbi states collaborated to bring us lake rice, I think I saw a news mention somewhere that the price of lake rice was being crashed, which will be a very welcome development. Yeah. But availability, accessibility rather, making it accessible, making it reachable to, for people and making it affordable also will be, I think, the major stinker. 
Once we get those right, it will reduce the propensity and tendency for people to fall victim to what there, is There's a thread I want to run through what you are saying, uh, Cyril. If we started in 1999, I, I, I will not sit here and say, shutting our borders, it's only our borders that were shot, not Bene Boda, not Chad, Niger, or Cameroon. Mm. It's in the national interest. If Can we had started it before now. Can I respond to this? Please do. No, the fact is the citizen. If this is, this is an economic policy, occasioned by economic philosophy, I believe in globalization in this day and age. Nationalist economic policies have their limit. We saw them in the 20th century. Where the world is today, what the first many economists will tell you is this. If you shut your borders and produce television, for instance, and say everybody must buy what to produce in Nigeria, your manufacturers become lazy. They won't innovate. They don't understand what's happening in the world because they're not in competition. Local pay, so it, it, it promotes mediocrity. That is just one angle to the debate. The other issue is that in our own material instance as at now, citizen, the institutions, like I said, there's no camp. The institutions that are involved, if you don't fix them, mm. and if you're not telling me, you know, you can't decree change. If you're not telling me exactly the benefits of local rice over foreign rice, you're not campaigning. You're not. You're not. There's. There's no. There's. there's, Cyril, there's I, I've heard a bit what, about what it. What will happen? See, this imported is that if rice. You open the borders by imported, next year, December, imported rice is polished. As is not. They say it's a plus. Not well, all local rice is unpolished. Uh, uh, Oga, uh, it, it's crazy. Uh, Cyril, you go to. You attend a party at Ikoi, for instance, mm. and you are eating imported rice, and suddenly from the blues, um, what, what's this? Uh, or father rice comes. Mm. Do you know everybody? You abandon yeah. this and yeah. go for a father, father. as if it's something mm. new. Mm. So I am saying it, there, there must be some good in some things. It's everything is not. If we started in 1999, we would have been somewhere, Wale. Yeah, I I, I think um, it's a very unfortunate thing that uh, this thing happens almost every year, and we seem not to be able to find a solution to it. it happened in 2016. Almost every time we are getting towards Christmas. You know, even if you have no, you don't have money to eat rice from <laughs> the beginning of the year, this Christmas, everybody wants to. Now, the impact of this is enormous because children are most likely to be the targets. Mm. You know, almost every child, you know, loves to take rice. Mm. So I think it's a very unfortunate thing that people can go to the extent of taking human lives just because they are looking for mm. profit. Mm. So it, it's just not enough for NAVDAC, like they have said, to just make a statement and then go to sleep. We need to know where this, um, you know, expired rice could be found. We need to know those that are responsible. You know, the border was closed some months ago. Probably they had Not brought best, in yeah. these uh, bags of rice before, you know. No, no, they are so still coming in. Though. They are still coming in through by, different by, means. Uh, yeah, by, yeah. You know, uh, through oil. Motorcycle so fuel tank. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, the, the, you know, <laughs> NAMDAC needs to do more. It needs to recruit people among the market women. It needs to de uh, democratize exactly. the institution. Exactly. In Lagos, now, NAVDAC maybe has just one or two offices. Exactly. Mm. Those marketplaces, NAVDAC needs to have representatives there. Exactly. So that when you bring in, you know, something to a solar market, there is a NAVDAC representative there that can test those things before they go into the market. That's it. We talk about expired rice. For Christ's sake, from what of mama, what of fish? You go to the rotten fish, you see people selling rotten fish. What of tomatoes? So uh, the fact of the matter is you that... you see people buying rotten fish? Oh, sure. You go to the market, you know, to be smelling. See, well, you know, you know, one right. truth is this: an ugly man will not discriminate between bad rice <laughs> or good rice. That, no, but but if, that, but if but you, that's satanic hunger. Yeah. yeah. No, no. It's so, no, I, I'm no. telling you the truth. And let's if you bring this right, people. Oh, do people have any means or even identify which one is good? <laughs> but we, listen. So the government must, needs to help must give. the society. Something must give. Just, the government rice. needs to help the society by exactly. ensuring that they, they, I mean, they nip these things at the board. Don't even allow these things to come into the country in the first place. So, and I think that is the best way we can, you know, we, we can move forward. Yeah. You know, um, citizen, the fact is that I hate to call it socialism, even if it has that that outlook. I, I, if, I don't. I can't if, even remember the if, spelling. If, <laughs> <laughs> we are not part of socialism. <laughs> <laughs> if the if if yeah. government yeah. wants to take up responsibility, it needs hands. It needs hands and legs okay. to do it, and okay. that's what he has rightly pointed out. You need more people to help you, foot soldiers to help you bring this thing. You see, the principle of something giving, if the poor feel that they are all to give and others are not giving, they feel shortchanged. They can sabotage and compromise the policy. That's the problem. 
But if we have exemplary leadership, and we, are, and we see that leadership is interested to lead from the front and is interested to also make sacrifices for Nigerians, mm -hmm. are you aware that in, in Abuja, I think I'm aware that, you know, civil servants sometimes they share this local mid rice yeah. to, yeah. to workers and so on. So what, what, what are we, by now, by now, local rice should be so available that Nigerians, because the, re, the truth of the matter is that local rice is sweeter than foreign rice. Is what? Is sweeter. Oh, really? Oh, sure. Of course. More aromatic. Can, can, can you tell them? <laughs> they are Nigerians. Local rice is better Listen than Listen to the broadcast. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah. Local rice is sweeter. More nutritious. And more nutritious and more aromatic. Yes. Okay. You know, than foreign rice. And I this, wonder, let they me bring it, it from no, Thailand. No, let, okay. Let me put it to you. That when you cited China mm. rather copiously, oh, mm. it, it shot her borders, blah, blah, blah. You think everybody loved it? See, this mm. in June. Mm. You see, the something point? must give. I'm saying, let, right from 99, if we started a little, mm. President the, Obasanjo has thanked President Buhari for shutting the borders and that Bene should do what is needful. That Bene should do what, it, what was needful. Yeah, you know, yeah. So let, let's start from somewhere. But that's the message no, I'm, course, I'm passing. Let's start course, from somewhere. We've, we've begun from, so, we, we began since August. We began from, so I'm talking about internal issues that must also be yeah, taken they, care they of. will be there. But again, me, I buy it 101% that more, uh, more publicity stunts, more, pop mm. more, more, mm. it, 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 there should be, Enlightenment it, campaign. That's it. That's yeah. it. Mm. More, more like having the town crier mm. effect. Mm. You know, use the radio and every form of uh, communication. Mm. I pass it down. And mm. you see, you got it. Let me know how do I distinguish the poisoned rice from the, the good rice yeah. and, so, and yeah. so on and yes. so on. But that's what, and, what I'm yes. saying. And so ensure that, you know, we have collaborations. Like you rightly also pointed out from port of origin. Mm. The foreign rice that they bring to Nigeria, they, they, uh, in Thailand, it's I, been I, there for 10 I, years. I, I hear mm. that pre-shipment pre thing had gone. 10 years, 15 years old rice, they bring it to Nigeria. And because we love anything foreign, once we hear that it's foreign, mm. it is what we want. People oh, yeah. in Abab will make suit, send it to Turkey, re-import it. And, you know, once you see mm. that it was, if your brother told you that he did it by himself, mm. you wouldn't uh. believe that, he, that, you know, so... Once it's coming from overseas, Nigerians love it. Even if we didn't shut the borders, you know, or whatever the case is, even a campaign generally to dissuade and discourage us from loving foreign things is not on the way. I think that the policy must be holistic. The, the case Navdak has raised is very germane, is very fundamental, but we must not be left to our, left to our feet. What, can, what, what, what is to be done? That is the yeah, question. From here. What is not to be done from here? What is to be done from here? Is for, is for the security agencies to ramp up their, their intelligence guarding measures, find out where people, people who put rice in jerry cans. You carry palm oil and rub on... Mm. Oh yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I them. was distressed. You know, <coughs> or they put it in, they say they're riding Okada, and inside the fuel tank, there is rice. Petrol tankers, you know, that you use in moving... Diesel fuel. and so on, yes. You, you, rice you pack inside. rice in it, and Nigerians will die to eat it. Mm. So I think so I think that you know we mustn't rest on our oars. We must make sure that we block all the leakages whereby these things are coming in. But the caveat must be sounded and we must give the warning, citizen, that you must appeal to the minds of people. Otherwise, five years from now, if you open the borders, they will go back to their old ways. You mm. know how even in the Bible the, the Israelites, I'm sorry, when they left Egypt, God kept on battling with them. At, you know, they came out of Egypt and they were going. The moment Moses was not around, they said, take us back to Egypt now. We were eating on us and garlic there. It is a thing of the mind. Cyril, that's no excuse. We are, we, Bible times, uh, no, no, this is not to shoot it down. This is 2019, 21st century. We must think tomorrow, today. It, it's possible as yeah, we begin yeah. to take it home. Yeah. Yes. Um, you cannot because you <clears throat> must make sharp money. I, I don't know how mm. much money a man needs in a 70-year lifespan. I don't mm. know. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. So we, 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 we can't continue to close that, our that, That's blood money, if you yeah, ask me. We can't close our borders forever. We can't. So we have more than 1,000 entry points, illegal points. So we need to devise means, you know, using modern technology, exactly. drones to monitor those borders. Because at one point or the other, you need to open 
the borders. The border. But I think the closure of the borders, you know, has its own merit, you know, because it needs to force us to rethink and to also to ensure that, you know, uh, things that can destroy human lives do not uh, are not allowed to come into uh, Nigeria. Uh, all right, we, we 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 have company. Abioye is in Ibadan. I greet you, Abioye. Abioye, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, is your is your rice already in? <laughs> <laughs> All right then, let's go. Yeah, good evening. Uh, we we'll greet you, sir. Uh, good evening, DJ. Um, good evening. Uh, uh, um, go, go on, sir. Go on time. In fact, I, I, I like the story you brought up this evening, and uh, I'm scared to you know that the uh, poisonous fire drive mm. are all over the place now. Please. Uh, this is the 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 that director general. So we need to do a very big job by identifying the markets, mm. so that she can uh, innocent Nigerian citizens not to fall prey of this poison that yeah. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. God bless you. All right, and bless your Christmas too. Yeah. So, so uh, Chris, uh, uh, Cyril, let's begin to take it home. Um, first. You must talk to the Nigerian mm -hmm. because he's at the receiving end. Yeah. Yes, you have to. You have to talk to him. You have to engage. See, the fact is that people are fighting tooth and nail. They are deploying resources. Mm. You see, the sophistication and ingenuity with which smugglers are fighting to bring in these banned goods is is is, is even more worrying. Mm. But I am even bothered, perhaps more bothered, by the fact that. They do this in the confidence that they still have a market. Mm. Yeah. If yeah. truth be told, that market is what we must destroy. That appetite. Yeah. That proclivity. That tendency. That desire. That taste for what's coming abroad. Mm. We must destroy it. The truth, Citizen Jones, Aba, I used to go to Aba when I was in primary six. A rare market. I, I've said this in time and again. Aba alone can. There is so oh, much. Come on. Somebody will tell that in some Nigerian markets, don't buy, don't buy. Eight percent of what you see there is produced in those places. Mm. Somebody says also so bottled water has no factory in so so geopolitical zone of the country, but you have a surplus of their of their product in market in that place. Uh, and you're, you're wondering <laughs> how is it happening? How do we turn the this, turn the narrative around mm. and see that look, Nigerians become the owners of their own economy. That is the end point of the discussion. If we lose that, we've lost everything. Uh, all, all right, um, uh, Wale, we must go, but yeah. not before telling you one last word. Yeah, um, yeah, we need to provide alternative, even though we want to yeah. ban foreign goods. Yeah. If you buy a shagia and use it for one day, the Gidan made, and it doesn't mm. work again, we prefer right. to get the one from, from Ghana. Okay, all right, all right. Yesterday was Thanksgiving uh, throughout America, and uh, today I hear is Black Friday. And yeah. Black Friday suddenly became so much noise about Black Friday in Nigeria. Today is not Black Friday. Citizen, I have 27 days to Christmas. So. I love your wisdom, Citizen Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I love your wisdom, Citizen Jones. No, no. So, but but we, we want to thank you for coming, Cyril Abaku. My pleasure, Citizen uh, Looking ahead to Christmas. Surely. Wale. Thank you very much. Adewo All right, that will just about do it for the program today, this week, and this month. Uh, but let's thank you. The, the, the program is targeted at you, the consumer. You may watch a repeat if you miss this on other platforms we'll, which will show you on the screen. Uh, we are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel is the same. I am Citizen Jones Usain. Bye bye now. Take care.